Okay, uh, this is going to be the last part of the model which we are discussing uh, for analysis and design of building. So, let's see our model. So, in the, in, in the model, we have uh, studied about the drawing uh, shear force and bending moment draw, uh, diagrams, how to draw them. Uh, like uh, the displaying of forces uh, for frame by frame. For example, if you go to X, Y, then you click here and you want to see the bending moment and shear force diagram uh, for the frame at bit C for this frame. So just click, go to uh, display, show deformed shape. Earthquake in that you have to select the load combination. For example, if you click, click 1.2D plus 1.6L, make it OK. And this is uh, showing you the display diagram. If you click on uh, the 5D elevation, and this is showing you the deformed shape, you can find out the displacement by clicking on any node uh, how much is the displacement and if you want to see the shear force diagram go to show deformed shape 1.2D before that let me go to show forces and stresses frame and cable and here you have to select the load combination for which you have to uh, you have to observe the shear force of bending moment diagram. Uh, as we have the axis, vertical axis of, of, of any frame section is 2 and the horizontal section is 3. So the normal shear force for the gravity load will be shear 2, 2 and for horizontal load it will be shear 3, 3. I mean for horizontal uh, along the weaker axis of uh, remember, let's see the shear 2 2. If you just click here and make it okay, so this is a shear force diagram of the building. This change in the shear force is due to the presence of wall as there is a wall at this location, so the amount of shear force is changing here. If you just convert into kilonewton meter. In this case, uh, I have not done the meshing of slab element or slab shell element because uh, I want to run, I'm just interested in the forces of beam and columns which uh, which have by default meshing of the system I, I have shown in my previous, uh, uh, previous slide or you can say that previous uh, lectures that every column and every beam is divided in around six components which are by default uh, by the program but if you want if you want to, uh, to design a slab and you have to uh, consider the slab design then you must have to select the slab elements and you have to go to assign Actually, uh, currently this model is locked, so maybe all these options would be unchecked or you cannot see them. But if you want to see these options, you must have to unlock. But if we delete your analysis result, click OK. And then now oh, let's see grid, edit. It is not here. Then you go to assign area and automatic area mesh. Let's see what is automatic area mesh. If you click here, so if you say here no auto meshing, it means it is not going. But if you click here, mesh area into this number of objects. So you can now, for example, one area you can divide into how many parts? It's up to you. For example, uh, let's make four by four, and if I make it okay. And then you can see all this this area is matched into four by four. It is coming over here. And if you want to change its meshing, you can change it. It's totally. So it is saying no. It means uh, these are not uh, having any kind of mesh, or we have missed them. 
Anyhow, uh, this is about the meshing. If you want to mesh, you can mesh and then you can replicate. But be careful. Uh, meshing is regarding to see the details. How accurate details you want to see? More uh, mesh number. It means your analysis time would be more and your results will be more accurate and you will require more storage capacity. Okay, uh, let's go to to the design now. In order to design, if you go here and uh, make clear clear selection, it will clear all the selection. If you want to design it, you must have to analyze it before. Let's again run the analysis, run analysis, run now, click it here and wait for some time so that it finishes analysis. This is basically the main engine which is working behind this SAP and uh, these are the different item board. If you have done the model analysis and it will say analysis complete. Okay, now let's now you can see that it is already uh, your slab is divided into the mesh which you have already defined. I have not defined any mesh because I am already aware that these circular parts because it is not uh, these, this mesh is defined by the system and these are the edges which I have not matched. So if you want it is better to have mesh because mesh gives you the accurate, accuracy in your results. It is uh, for shell elements don't skip mesh. If you if you have shell elements because it gives you a, a kind of uh, composite behavior of beams and uh, and the slab. For example, if you if you select membrane and you do not do meshing, okay, it's still uh, adjustable. But if you have shell, then it's better to to have the mesh. Okay, now let's see. Make it ready. Uh, it is just. Uh, Showing us the shape of the diagram. Okay, now if you want to go to design, go to design, concrete frame design, new references. From here you can select the code according to which code you want to design. ACI IBC 2003 it means that it will take the load combination from ACI. Uh, it, from, it will take the load combination from 2003 and consider the design equations from ACI 31805. These are the five factors. If you click it OK, if you if you want to change, you can change it by clicking here any previous code. But uh, as we are discussing ultimate stress design method in our course, so we have to check this one and make it OK. And now you can just go to design and uh, start design and check the structure. Click here, so it, it now is doing the design. Next, you want to see the design information. Again, you can see this information by plan at at every plan or at every floor level or at any elevation. For example, if you want to see, uh, let's make it ready. For example, if you want to see at the first plan, make it sorry. Uh, let me make it ready. Because I have to convert this into the XY. Okay, so it is giving you information and giving you the reinforcement in meter scale because your units are meter. So let's change to the millimeter. So these are the reinforcement values in millimeter scale. But if you want to see the reinforcement ratio, you can see uh, the reinforcement ratio by clicking here design, concrete frame design, this plan uh, display information. And you can see here rebar percentage. If you click here, you make it okay. Now it is joined to the reinforcement ratio. Similarly, we can see the reinforcement ratio for the column. If you want to see the uh, reinforcement ratio at different elevation, click X3 and you can directly see here. So for the column, reinforcement ratio from 1 to 3 percent is considered as an like economical design. But if your reinforcement percentage is more than 
three percent you still your design would be okay but you may have some problem regarding the placement of reinforcement because eight percent reinforcement to place in within the column to have the required clearances within the uh, steel bars it is a little difficult so uh, you can revise the section and if the reinforcement ratio in the column or in beam is more than the allowable maximum values of the code then it will show the overstress for example let's uh, let's do this exercise let's uh, let me make some member pair for example i just click this this column and i give this column a very big size how i can give a big size i have to define section properties frame section and here you can define modify or show property anyhow i have defined various sizes for example they, they, these are the different sizes okay uh, let's go to modify and show property but before that i must have to unlock this model because i cannot make any change let's unlock it define frame section you can define or you can modify for example if you define add new property let's make some column concrete rectangular let's define the column size which is very weak so the concrete term you can select 30 200 200 and then complete reinforcement it is it has to be column give grade 60 or 40 whatever you like let's go with the grade 60 the same way yeah, no. and then make it okay okay and similarly if you want to check any beam you can define uh, any weaker beam like concrete rectangular beam 200 by 200 grade 20 200 I am doing this exercise to just uh, show you how to change uh, what, what would be the method if your if your member is uh, under uh, have the less reinforcement or it is overstressed. Let's see what would happen. Okay, so beam and column. Now these two are here. Okay, let me define assign this column as a weaker column assign frame frame section C two hundred. Okay, now you can see all the labels for the column and this column is, is a weaker column and I, I also want to change the size of this beam, just select like this beam, go to assign, frame, and section and give this beam a weaker size, 200, now the size is 200 by 200. Okay, now again you have to run the analysis, analyze, uh, run analysis, run now and wait for the analysis. Okay. Now go to design complete then design start design structure structure start the designing. Oh. Now you can see instead of the reinforcement retro value because these values are shown by by default. It is showing OS. OS means this beam and column they have small size and they are overstressed. So you must have to change the size so that your section can pass according to the selected design code, which is ACI 318 2005. Okay, now again I increase the size. I select this column. I go to assign, but before that again you have to unlock. Okay, assign. Frame, frame section, give a bigger size, this one, okay, select this beam, assigning, frame, and give this beam a bigger size, like uh, this one, okay, now you can again run the analysis, and now,
<coughs> so let's wait for the analysis. Onset is uh, complete. And then we will run now and we will run the design. Yes, let us finish the analysis. Okay. Now go to design, configuration and design, start design and check structure. Okay, now you see the, the reinforcement ratio is there. So if you increase more column size, you might have less reinforcement ratio. But if your reinforcement ratio is already minimum, then increasing column size will increase your reinforcement. So keep in your mind that uh, always it is better to see the reinforcement ratio in the form of the uh, Bar percentage. Oh, I'm sorry. Display uh, design, concrete frame design, display design information, and click it here. So, if it is again more than five percent, you you should change uh, or three percent for the column. Change the column size to reduce it. To reduce it, but if it is already one percent, then try to uh, use the same size or try to reduce the size of column so that you have reinforcement. Uh, slightly more than one percent. If it is one percent, it means that the selected size of column is is enough or more than enough. Uh, why I am explaining all these things? Because if you are designing, you must have to give the size of beams and columns uh, so that you can see either the sizes are working or not. If the sizes are not working, you have to either revise the size or you have to increase the size by defining the section. So this concludes this uh, tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will I will discuss about the uh, how to how to design the slab and beam system in Sail. Uh, thank you very much.